Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. This is our lesson 4 on Postman Tool Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we run multiple API requests together by using an option called a collections. So in my previous session, I have already explained you how can we create collections and how can we manage collections. So in this lesson, we are going to deep dive into the collections and how can we use these collections in running multiple API requests. Okay, that's what I'm going to explain you guys. Okay, please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So, as part of this lesson, we are going to create collection, so which I already explained you in my previous session. And then in the collection, I am going to create multiple REST API requests that I would like to test. Okay. And then I am going to arrange the request messages in logical order. And then I will be running the collection using collection runner. And then I'm going to explain you what are all the different options that are available in collection runner that can be used to improve our test run. And then I'm going to teach you how can we analyze the test results from the test runner or collection runner. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions. So, yeah, this is my Postman tool, desktop tool application, okay. So, in my previous session, we have already created uh, the collection, right. I've showed you how to create collection and then how can we manage the collections within the folder structure. So, now uh, to make it easier, so let me also create another collection so that you people can understand from the beginning. And then uh, we will see how to run the multiple API requests by using collections, uh, collection runner, and then how can what are all the different options that are available in collection runner? Okay, so first let me create a new collection, and let me name this as collection three. Okay, I'm going to name this as collection three. Under this collection, I would like to add a new request message. Click on add a request, and here I would like to name this as guest users list, get users list. So as I told you earlier, so this is the website where we have multiple rest requests. So I would like to use this. I want to get a list of all users. For that, this is my URL, right? So let me copy this URL. This is my REST URL. I'm going to copy this and then paste the URL here to get list of all the users. Okay, list of all the users and save this. So if you see under collection 3, I've created one get REST service to get all the list of users. Okay, just test this and see how it works. Send. So I'm getting the response successfully. So if I want to change the response to the, I mean the view of the response, right? As same as SOAP UI, let's go to view UI, view, and then make it as two toggle two pane view or toggle sidebar. Okay, let me this way. So if you see here, I have the request message here and then response here. Okay, I'm getting the response with all the list of users. See, you can see user 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So multiple users. I'm getting the list of users. And what is my next API request that I would like to test? My next one is single user. I want to get a single user re response. Okay, so let me copy this. And... This is my entire URL 
for that now i want to add another api request here rest request for that what we will do under collections view more actions here add request click on add request name this as get single user okay and then if you see here now collection 3 is having two requests for get single user this is my url just now i copied from here save this and now let's test this send the request now i'm getting single user janet weber let's assume if i want to get the user 3 i'll change it as 3 save this and send this so now you see emma wong if i change it to 4 i'm going to get someone else eve halt okay so let's save this so we have added two new api requests that i would like to test okay successfully and then we see individually we have executed our api request so of course these api request does not have any bodies right and we have not provided any we have not created any tests also for these requests so creating tests and creating uh, sending a api request along with the body i'm going to explain you in further sessions okay for now we are going to concentrate on collections how can we run the collections so now now this collection has two different api requests so now i want to run these collections how can i run the collection for that there are two ways one either you click on this collection on right side on right corner top you have an option called run collection with a run symbol okay you can click on this or if you go to view more actions you have an option called run connection collection as soon as you click on run collection it's going to open a runner pane if you see here this is my runner window what does this has so runner window will contain all the rest api services that you have added under the collection either you can deselect all or you can select all or if you want to run only one api you can uncheck one of the api and keep one api request checked so whatever you check it's going to run all those api requests and also you can deselect as i told you and then as soon as you reset it's going to reset with by checking all the api requests that are available in collection okay that's the default and you have a right side iteration that means if you want to run all these apis within this collection how many times let's say i want to run twice two iterations you can specify as two iterations and what is the delay that means do you want to include include any delay between two rest request messages if you want to include any delay 2 milliseconds 3 milliseconds 5 milliseconds within I mean between two request messages you can specify that and then you have data that means if you if you are parameterizing or if you are storing your variables okay within any csv file or excel file you can import those excel and csv files and use those variables in the request message by using data file okay that i'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions so it's very important session uh, important concept but i'm going to cover in upcoming sessions and then if you want to save the responses you can check this and keep variable values that means whatever the if i'm using variables within the apis if i want to keep those variables while running the collection you can keep those variables and then if you want to run the collections without storing cookies you can just check this one and then if you want to save the cookies after collection run you can check this okay so those are all the options that are available so now let's run this collection okay 
as soon as I run this collection, it's gonna execute twice. If you see here, because our requests are very small requests, so this is my iteration one. My first request is being sent and my second request is being sent. One is get user list, get single user. This is first iteration. And if you see here, this is my second iteration. Again, it sent get users list, get single user, right? So, and if you see, because currently we have not included any tests in our APIs, you're not able to see pass fail count. If you include it, if you include tests, then it's going to show you how many passed, how many failed within the collection. Okay. And if you see on top right corner, you have view summary. If you click on view summary, now I can see summary. So for this iteration one, iteration two, for this API request, iteration one and two, if you have results, then it's going to show the results also. And then you have an option called run again. If you click on this run again, it's going to open the, I mean, it is going to run the collection again. And then if you want to export the results, you can export the results to your system. Okay. And then, uh, and if you go to, if you, if you go to history, if you go to history, you can see here in the history, I, ha I have run the collection here. Okay, you can view the results also. See, whatever the results we saw earlier, I can see the same results here. Okay, by using history. So let me close all these tabs. Hope you all understand. So this time, let me kick, I mean, let me run the collection from this option. Okay, here, right side, run collection. As soon as you click on run collection, it's going to open the runner window. And now this time, let's say I want to run three times. And then click on run collection. So now if you see here, there are three iterations. Iteration one, iteration two, iteration three. So you have all three iterations. And if you see view summary, this time one, two, three. Correct? And then again, click on view results. You can see here. And also while running the collection, as I told you, so let's, Let's run this collection, okay? While running the collection, you can select the environment also. If you want to run this collection for QA environment, you can select that or production environment. So how can we create environments? I'm going to explain you in further sessions. And if you want to add any environment variables or global variables for this collection, you can add them and use them while running, okay? Hope you all understand the advantages and different options that are available to run the collections okay so in future sessions i'm gonna enhance further and i'm gonna explain you how can we use environment variables global variables while running the collections and then how can you pass the variables from request message from one request to the uh, second request basically from the first request to the second request right so all these concepts i'm going to explain you in the further video sessions okay if you have any queries please do provide your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you